it, it was a bit of a crazy week. So you go out there for a week, you do all the build up and all that kind of stuff, and um, and there's so much hype around it, especially and a fight like that suits Vegas because it's a crazy city anyway. But then when you come to the fight night, you're expecting this big, amazing fight. It wasn't as exciting as as what we were hoping for. Um, but yeah, so at the very end of the fight, obviously our angle is being an Irish agency is Connor. So you win when he got beaten in the corner. Our focus was on him. Um, and it was so surreal to see him just lying there as such a beaten docket um, at that stage of the fight. So I stayed on him and then all of a sudden you could see something happening with Khabib. Um, he was kind of coming towards my corner, but I wasn't really that interested in him because it was still Connor was our story. Um, and then that's when it all kicked off. Um, you could see the gum shield going, thrown, and the next thing he just jumps out over the cage into, into, into where I was stand, standing. And uh, you just didn't know where to look then after that because it was just happening everywhere. It was, you, you were always that split second behind. So when he jumps, you, you try and get into that melee, but you're being pushed back and there's security pushing you and getting digs here and there. And then you hear, oh, Connor's been hit. And then you jump up in the octagon and you're back in there and then you've missed that. And then you go back down again and it's just, just mayhem everywhere. Absolute mayhem there. Um, and you just didn't know where to look and it took so long to just come down from it and say, well, what was that? What have I just witnessed? And it's something that'll be spoken about for so long to come. Presumably you were in the line of danger as well. If you had jumped out a different part of the octagon, like uh, a, a man could have gone flying over your head. Quite easily, you could have landed on top of me. Um, and it was, and because when it happened, then you've just, security comes from everywhere. So there is, and they, there's no holes barred at that stage. All they're interested in is the fighters, and they're the guys that stand out, because they know who they're looking for, whereas everybody else is just extra. So you, it doesn't matter who you are, you've been pushed. You're, like, and, so and it's elbows, and it's digs, and all that kind of stuff, but it was mayhem there. Is that the most chaotic thing you've ever covered in your career? Well, there's been a couple of GA games now that have been up there <laughs> <laughs> over the years. Um, Which ones? Oh, I definitely remember one. And I'll, I'll never forget, it was Cross McGlenn were playing in, uh, in, uh, in Cavan in a, against uh, Castlebar Mitchells. And I remember the Castlebar beat them. It must have been an All-Ireland semi-final, they said it was in Cavan that night. It was a Saturday night and all hell broke loose afterwards. And I tell you, that was rough. On the pitch? Yeah, on right. the pitch. And it, it, actually, it happened, the pitch was, whatever about the pitch, we're kind of used to seeing that, but it, what happened around the, the, the dugout area, that was serious. And, Unfortunately, it's my job to tell that story and my nature is to get closer to it and not run away from it. So you end up inside in the middle of it and then you realize, oh, I'm too close to this. <laughs> and I probably brought a lens that was a bit too wide and I got right in the middle of it. But um, yeah, that's one I'll never forget. Well, at guess. least it is your job to take those photos because whenever we yeah. put up a video of an AG April, people are like, put away the phone. <laughs> Why are you ratting us out here? Exactly. Yeah. Look, well, we can turn a blind eye to it if, you, if that's what you want. Yeah. But it happens at the end of the day and you have to show it. And, and then people turn out, why are you photographing us? Well, don't do it. No one photograph you. Like, that's my attitude towards it. Just to go back to the yeah. Khabib, um, to that moment, are you, are you looking at everything through the lens or do you kind of take a, gl a glance, you kind of yeah, try and look? You're always looking through because if you see it with your eyes, it means you've missed it. So you're always looking through the lens. Um, and that's why I suppose the initial thing of, of Khabib trying to, uh, to gum shit back out uh, um, towards Connor's corner, I'd kind of missed it because I was still focused on Connor. Um, that's our market. So. Um, it's just out of the corner of, 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 the, of the screen that I could, uh, I could see, okay, something's kicking off here, he's getting too close to me, and then that's when he jumps out. So, yeah, you're still looking through um, the camera at all the times, so and then you, when he jumps out, you have to drop that camera, pick up the next one, because they've come so close to you. Um, yeah. It's mad, because it, it sounds like you're a little bit almost disappointed now from this distance, but the next morning you wake up and ESPN have flashed your photograph around the world, so there's, you must be relatively happy with what happens. Yeah, definitely, because it's a, it's a gamble for us as an agency going to fights like this. You're spending a week there uh, and all that, but it just moved it from being a fight that was going to be on the sport, Irish sports pages, um, maybe buried inside there on a Monday morning, to turning into this global story that was on the front pages and the back pages. So, uh, yeah, it, it, once it all sunk in, it's like, this is going to be big. This is definitely worth it. These pictures are going to be floating around for, for years to come. Yeah. And, and I'm no doubt when the cases come up in, with the, uh, in Vegas soon, that they'll be churned out again and they'll keep, and before the next fight, before Khabib's next fight and before Connor's next fight, they'll be churned out. And if there is a rematch, there'll be, there's gonna be great value in these over the years. But um, 
Yeah, initially we're disappointed with the way the fight went, but then you think, hold on, this is bigger than anything that could have ever happened. Um, um, this is a tech conference and you were literally walking past the uh, stage there taking photographs and we were like, hang on a second, this is a good opportunity to talk to you about. So is there stuff here that you're actually legitimately interested in? Or is there stuff that's relevant to you here? Uh, yeah, there's a few bits. I suppose when we uh, so I work with Sportsman and we're the official photographers for our web summit, so we have a team of seven photographers here. Um, and then we've another team of five um, editors working this, so it's a big gig for us. Um, but we've been doing this, this is our fourth year working for Web Summit. Uh, we do all our conferences across uh, um, Hong Kong, uh, New Orleans, which has now moved to Toronto, and the one in Dublin, MoneyConf. So when we get the schedule, we always go to the sports stage and to see who's the big name this year. And, it's, uh, and that's what, we, we love this. This, this is our, our one that we target today. So, okay, because it's the one that's most relevant to us. Like yeah. We work in the sports business, we yeah. sports every day of the week, so this is a little bit off the beaten track. So the sports stage is the one. Um, so you've you, got your big names already taken now in the, the sports yeah, stage. Yeah, I won't beat this. I now. won't beat this. <laughs> you just came to see Owen and the official fight announcement for Owen and McGregor's dad. Yeah, uh, we, need a, we need a photography agency to, uh, to document our hiring. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in. Do you want to follow Owen on his, his journey to annihilation? Yeah, we can do the embedded. <laughs> One last thing, it was, uh, I was going to ask you about the evolution of um, the gear that you have. Like, how has it changed in the short period of time that you've been a full-time professional photographer? What's the difference now? Yeah, so I suppose when I started like 11 years ago, I used to go to games with my colleagues, somewhat similar that we'd go to games that was just a matter of producing your set of pictures. If you've got 10 nice pictures, 8 to 10 pictures, you were happy. Now it's all about the moment. So it's not about getting the good pictures, it's about getting that moment, be it the goal that wins the game, the sending off, the tackle, something like that, so that has changed. And the other side of it is the speed of it. Right? There was a time where you could go and do a game in Crow Park and you could you'd be happy enough going to the press room afterwards, sitting down editing. Um, but now, unless you have the picture out immediately, then you've, you've missed it because it's the online world has changed that. Um, and even the likes of the McGregor fight, um, there's, there was only eight photographers cage side on that, on that night. And the big thing is to be the first one out. So, not alone is the pressure on you to get the picture, but then you've got to be able to get it out as quick as possible. So that's the way it's definitely changed. Um, technology has changed it, but thankfully we're, in a, we're an agency that invests in technology that we're always trying to stay ahead of the game. Um, so yeah, that's how it's definitely changed. Is that just a 4G card, really, ultimately? It's not just one 4G card, but when you go to the stage, you're buying three different networks because you don't know what's going to work on the night. So you're in the T-Mobile arena for a fight like that. And the worst card you can have is a T-Mobile card because there's no signal for T-Mobile. So you've got to have a T-Mobile and a Verizon and any other networks that you can buy on, on the, when you get there, as well as the, the Wi-Fi and try everything because it's not, a, it's not an excuse to say, oh, I couldn't send a picture. Well, that's, that doesn't work. It is mad that um, so much importance in media is placed on video and there was a thought maybe that photography was going to be a dying art over the last couple of years. And then it just made a comeback when everybody realized that the visual image is still so unbelievably important. It's the type of thing that everybody understands really quickly. And actually, it's probably becoming more and more prominent. As memes started to take off and become massive traffic drivers, people realized that if I've got a good photograph that can actually become a meme, then uh, I can communicate in many different ways. And I, I, don't know if, I don't know if you guys feel this, but like, it certainly seems like the big media companies, the big publishers, are pushing more photography now than they would have been even 10 years ago. Yeah, they are. They're looking for more from their photography. So um, they're looking for more behind the scenes to bring the viewer places they've never seen before. Um, and the still will, still, uh, will, will capture that moment. The video doesn't get that intimate moment. Or somebody, even when you see the backstage of fighters getting wrapped up or stuff like that, it's just that deep moment where they're in thought. Video can't capture that, I find. They have to really make a slow-mo and start changing the colors and all that, whereas I think the still will, still, will, will, will capture that a lot more. Um, there's still a place for it, definitely, for, for, for the pictures. Um, you look through Instagram, I suppose, has helped us an awful lot. Like, videos on Instagram are quite good, but it's, still, it's that, that one picture. You look at any big fighter after, after, after fights, or soccer players, or any player, they'll still go to the, that, that one picture. They're not going to put up a video to show this is how I won the game or the yeah. celebration afterwards. They might use it in their stories or whatever, but it's that, that one picture that's going to get all the likes. Um, so I think sponsors have caught on to that as well. Like, let's, let's get a sports person. Let's, uh, instead of hiring him to do a photo call, let's buy a space on his Instagram page and put a picture up there. Um, so that has really helped us, I suppose, in a way, the social media. It could have been the end of us, 
because everybody has a phone, but I think it's actually opened a new market for us now. Yeah, no, totally. Uh, at Sportsfile, Steve. Steve, thanks very much for, uh, for joining us right. and for taking photographs of Owen before he dies. <laughs> thanks, Kai.